Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to an exciting episode, another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. It's a really beautiful spot, uh, not much to say about it really, uh, but it is a little bit of a puzzle because I don't know, something about it tells me we're not where I expect us to be. You know, immediate looking at this, you know, you look at the homes and you see the way they're built and the way they look and you would think, okay, America, but something about, uh, something about this trash lake and, I mean, not only this trash lake, but I don't know, something about the rest of the countryside and maybe these poles here, I don't know, I mean, they, they definitely look different than the power line poles that we have nearby here, but I mean, I don't live in America, so I don't know, uh, but these definitely don't look the same as they normally do, I would associate ones that look like this with um, other parts of, of the world. But, you know, I could be wrong. There are many different varieties of uh, those uh, high-capacity... I don't really know what the hell you call these. These, these giant power uh, pole things. There's a lot of different varieties even near where I live, so maybe I'm just crazy. But something about looking at this tells me we're not in America. That being said, I'm gonna guess America, because honestly, other than that, I have absolutely no guesses as to where we could be. Um... Based on, I mean, it's, it's pretty wet around here, but these mountains look pretty dry. Uh, they're they don't they're not really peaked with any kind of uh, any kind of thing. So I'm guessing we're going to be uh, lower than Colorado. Uh, do I think we're going to be like in, in this area, kind of like uh, near Santa Fe? Uh, I don't know about that. What about uh, what about in Utah? No, the Utah doesn't really look like this. What about now? Kansas doesn't look like this. New Mexico. I guess I'm going to go northern New Mexico for almost no reason. Now, maybe southern Colorado, then. Uh, sure, we're going to call this uh, near Durango, like uh, like around here. Honestly, I have really no idea where this could be. This is this place is a big puzzle, but I've got a feeling that when I click Make Guess, we're going to be somewhere that I absolutely do not expect. And, yep, China. You see, I thought we might be in China, and the reason why is that we might be in China. Uh, not only the reasons I described, but then upon looking at the bottom right-hand corner, I could see... Uh, well, I could see something that... Uh, a name that I thought was, uh, you know, a place that was in China. This is a very uh, a very North American-looking neighborhood, I guess, kind of. It's a, it's a resort. Island Zongdao Resort. Wow. Okay. I wouldn't have guessed that, but I knew that there was something up with the picture, not only because of what I saw in the bottom right-hand corner, but because of um, but because of, of the way things looked. They didn't look quite right, but I wasn't just going to guess China, because I had no reason to, uh, I had no reason to specifically guess China, other than what I saw in the bottom right, but uh, I thought maybe we would be in America, mm, got it wrong, Island Zongdao Resort in Wenzhou, China. Man, that was crazy. Hopefully some of you guys figured it out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location, and it is a very, very cool spot indeed. I mean, sure, it's a beach on the water, as we often find ourselves in in these uh, daily challenges, but today's a bit different because uh, this isn't a beach on the ocean. It seems to be uh, a very a sandy beach, which is a bit strange, on uh, a very enclosed location, which is, I mean... Unusual to say the least, at least as far as um, where we normally are goes. So this is today's daily challenge. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at these. Look at these trees. Strange little, strange little leaves. I've never seen trees with leaves like this before. This must be a sort of a regional thing based on uh, where we are in the world. Because I, I don't know, these trees like this looks pretty cool. I've never seen one of those in uh, in real life. We got a nice, nice sandy beach. From the look of it, it looks like a thick grains of sand. I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, my eyes playing tricks on me. But it sure looks like thick grains of sand. Weirdly enough, this must be connected to the ocean, because now that I'm looking, uh, there's a lot of shrubbery uh, up here on the shore. It looks like uh, maybe tides rise? Maybe? Maybe there's some tides here, but there are like big logs down low. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. There's something going on with this water, but I don't, I don't really know what there is. Certainly uh, not waves. A nice cloudy day, interesting looking sky. Anyway, it's a daily challenge, and what that means is it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think we are. You put your guesses down in the comment section below, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I'm going to be making a guess as to where I think this is. Now, regardless of how I do, I will announce uh, the, the winner, the person who gets as closest out of you guys, as 
the winner in tomorrow's video's comment section because uh, I can't do it in the video because I the way I record these uh, it's in, I I won't you know I re I'm about to record the results now so there's no way of me knowing because I can't save this location until tomorrow and then make my guess uh, then. So, I'll announce whoever gets as closest in the comment section of tomorrow's video. Sure, it may not be very much glory, but if you're interested in winning that glory and no real prizes, then uh, for sure tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video. And... A big ol' happy Thanksgiving to you all. Now, I know many places of the world, it's not Thanksgiving. It's not Thanksgiving in the country that I live in either. But uh, today is a Thanksgiving-themed episode. And the reason for that is, well, actually just because someone sent me a Thanksgiving-themed challenge. So if uh, you guys send me challenges based on uh, certain themes or holidays or uh, whatever, I'll probably do them and theme an episode on them. I mean... You know, within reason, uh, I'm going to avoid doing themes probably based on religious holidays. Uh, we'll see about Christmas. Christmas might happen. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to do any based on uh, religious holidays or anything like that. You won't find me doing an, an Easter-themed uh, episode. Maybe Christmas if, I don't know, if someone sends me a Christmas-themed challenge. I don't know what the hell a Christmas-themed challenge would even be. But uh, if you wanted to send me challenges based on, like, national days for certain countries, it, like if uh, whatever your country's big day is coming up, you can totally send me a challenge. I would love to do one. I did one based on Canada Day because sent, someone sent me a Canada-themed challenge. I didn't want, I didn't do one on the 4th of July because no one sent me a challenge on that day based on America or the 4th of July. But if you got a big day coming up, not like your birthday, but like a national holiday or something like that. I can theme an episode around that. That would be pretty sweet. So today is Thanksgiving, specifically American Thanksgiving. So that's awesome. It's a challenge brought to us by Taylor Krogan. Thank you so much, Taylor Krogan, for this challenge. My God, you have... Uh, we did an episode... Uh, from you not too long ago, and actually now that I remember, uh, also recently on one of his live streams, a uh, popular YouTuber, Twitch streamer, Northern Lion, actually uh, did some of you guys' challenges. Uh, whenever he does GeoGuessr, these days, most of the time, he asks, or at least I ask him if he wants, uh, needs some seeds so he can do seeded challenges. Usually more fun, as you guys know, than uh, the random GeoGuessr challenges, because you end up in the back of the woods too often. So I sent him some seeds. Uh, it was uh, Luanli 1980 89's Frozen Challenge. Taylor Krogan, it was uh, your Lighthouse Challenge. Uh, it was RWO120's Canada theme challenge. And then Tokyo Sanchez's challenge, which didn't have a theme uh, either. And actually, another Taylor Krogan challenge. The more recent one I was just talking about. The reason why the Lighthouse is one, the reason why you had two that, uh, that he did, is because I kept sending him the Lighthouse theme challenge. I sent it that to him like a month ago when he did uh, some of you guys' challenge on his stream before. And uh, he still hadn't done it. For whatever reason, Lighthouse theme really uh, scared him. He avoided doing them. So this time, uh, you got two on that. If you guys are interested in seeing that, it would be on his uh, November 26th live stream. You can find that at twitch.tv slash Northern Lion in the VODs. Or you can probably go to his YouTube channel, Northern Lion, obviously. And uh, it's going to be the November 26th. Uh, stream, NLSS, whatever. There you go. You can find that there. If uh, It might not be uploaded by the time this gets uploaded, uh, just because converting Twitch VODs to YouTube videos takes forever. Thankfully, I don't have experience in that, because I, well, I mean, I have streamed only barely a little bit, and I don't often, uh, I don't often actually, uh, what the hell? That's not what I wanted. Okay, well, give me a second. Okay, sorry, we're back. Accidentally copied and pasted the wrong thing. Let's copy and paste the right thing. Like I was saying, I don't actually... I barely do live streams, and when I do, I don't put them up on my YouTube channel. Uh, so, there you go. Super cool. Taylor Krogan, thank you for this one. Thanksgiving. It's American Thanksgiving. Let's be thankful. Regardless where you are, you can always be thankful for some stuff, right? And that's the spirit of Thanksgiving. It's just about being thankful and eating a lot. And, you know, who doesn't like that? Turkey? Bang on, turkey's some, turkey some good stuff, you know, it's it's not the best meat, I'll be honest, but uh, have it, making it a little special, it, it's good, it's good, turkey's awesome, gravy and stuff like that, let's stuff our faces and uh, have a safe and uh, happy Thanksgiving, so awesome, I'm not exactly sure how deep this theme goes, but if you guys are interested in creating challenges, of course, go to geosetter.com, second link in the description, and if you want to do this challenge, it's the first link in the description, boom, Let's do it. I've talked too much already before starting, so that's why I cut that short. Okay, sweet. Nice. 
we are in America, most likely, place where we can be thankful. And we've got just somebody sitting. All right, what what have we got? What, what is this? I don't know. It's like someone's it's got some cheese, some kind of crackers, um, some wine. Uh, okay, it's a MacBook with some stickers on it. A bowl. Someone, I don't know, she's doing playing Game Boy or something. Uh, NY, that's good. We're in upstate New York. That's fantastic. On a lake, I'm imagining. Uh, yeah, looks like a lake to me. This is where one just celebrates. Uh, you know, this looks like, I mean, this could be a lake uh, around here. To be honest, relatively, uh, I don't live relatively far from uh, upstate New York. I mean, upstate New York, we got this over here, which I imagine is where we are. Maybe, you know how often we've been close to this lake? It's crazy. Near Plattsburgh? We've been in Plattsburgh quite often, but I think we're in one of these lakes over here. Perhaps uh, this one, Upper uh, Sarnak. Sure, Upper Sarnak Lake. Again, I live, like, right over here, so that's, you know, that's pretty close. The lakes around here look a lot like this. We got that NY up there. That's the biggest clue we could have possibly gotten. No flag. Uh, I don't know the link between this and Thanksgiving, but honestly... Uh, it actually sounds like uh, like a great time, you know. On Thanksgiving, maybe if uh, maybe you go up to the lake, you go up to the cottage with your family, have a nice Thanksgiving meal, enjoy the long weekend. Um, I, I don't know, go swimming for the last time you can. Sure, it's like freezing cold, especially if you're in upstate New York these days or here. Uh, but hell, if you're further down south, maybe you can still uh, get away with swimming. And if you're one of those crazy people, you can still get away with swimming. I'm sure the lake's not frozen over yet. Uh, it, it, there's probably not too many frozen over lakes. I don't think there is uh, anywhere, really, to be honest. So you can still go swimming, but, God, hey, that's unadvisable. Let's make the guess, and the answer was we were extremely close to there. You weren't... Oh! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so clever! Cranberry Lake! Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be a good challenge. Cranberry Lake, fucking amazing. <sighs> 42, 53. All right, well, I've got a feeling that uh, okay, so we are surprisingly, um, I, man, okay, I didn't think we were in North America looking at this, uh, but I guess we are because the signs are on the right, I was expecting Australia for a moment, Pie Town, motorcycle, oh, wow, fantastic, okay, uh, I mean, Pie, Pie Town, that's good, uh, you know, you need some pie, uh, in, you need some pie on thanks in Thanksgiving. It's in America. I wonder if all these locations are going to be in, Amer in America. Because, I mean, they're a fairly obvious non-American location you can choose. That is, I mean, it's probably pretty offensive to say it's Thanksgiving themed. So, it's not. I mean, you know, choosing a location in Turkey is, is not Thanksgiving themed. But, uh, you know... There you go. Hopefully, uh, these are all going to be creative uh, American locations, just because it'd be really funny, um, you know. Or you can go for the obvious, and it'd be like in Istanbul, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm excited to see the rest of this. This is hilarious. All right. What state are we in? Pie Town. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, not going down that way. That's going to be it's going to be the, the blurry end. Oh, come on now. Uh, is it going to be blurry down this way? No, it's not. Okay, good. So we got like a highway. Pie Town... Pie Town is going to be in, I mean, it's very dry, Arizona, Arizona, Arizona's pretty hilly as well, let's see, what, what's the, can we, can we light some fires, or is that a no-no, what, what zone are we in, we're in, uh, oh, we're in orange, I don't know what orange means, to be honest, uh, but you got, you got those signs up here as well, I mean, it's, it's pretty dry wherever we are, is there a pie festival, I mean, I might as well talk, but what's my favorite kind of pie, it's a good question, um, okay, I'm going to run through different kinds of pies and, and my, my, my feelings about them. All right. The classic pumpkin pie. I mean, not the classic. I was going to say classic apple pie, but then I went straight for pumpkin pie because it's Thanksgiving theme. Pumpkin pie. Fantastic. It's one of the best pies. Pumpkin pie, seriously, is the best. Uh, I don't know. I love it so much that uh, when it comes to this season and everything becomes pumpkin spice, I don't actually care. Wow. I've never heard of any of these places. Datil. Datil. Magdalena, Socorro, wow, I've never heard of those places before in my life, so uh, whenever everything becomes pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin spice, anything, I'm happy, 
I like pumpkin spice. It's delicious. You know, the combination of cinnamon, nutmeg, I think it's cloves in there, uh, other stuff. Oh, man, it's good, good stuff. Pumpkin pie is delicious. The classic American apple pie. Apple pie is also... It's not in my top tiers of pies. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, it's just the, the consistency of apples in apple pie. Uh, on, it's usually not good. It's it's usually uh, not not my favorite. I, I rarely have I ever had an apple pie where I've really enjoyed the texture of the apples that much. That being said, uh, it's one of the best pies to be paired with uh, vanilla ice cream. I think uh, vanilla ice cream elevates uh, apple pie to uh, a level far beyond what it would be without it. Um, without it, I say it's a uh, mid to bottom tier pie, uh, but with the, on the right occasion and with a little bit of vanilla ice cream, apple pie is fantastic. My favorite fruit pie is raspberry, just because I love raspberry so much. Yeah, it's not a very conventional pie filling. It's not the most conventional, but, I mean, I love raspberries. What can I say? Raspberry pie, you've got me. Strawberry rhubarb is good uh, as well. I would say those are my top two, raspberry being above. And, you know, blueberry uh, goes down there. And other than the blueberry and then apple and then, I don't know, if there's anything else, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to feel any necessity to eat that, but sure, why not? I mean, I'm a lover of all pies. Meat pies, good too. Uh, meat pies, in my mind, are a Christmas thing. You know, it's a good old traditional uh, French-Canadian Christmas meat pie. Tourtière, fantastic. Uh, good stuff. Uh, what else? You know, other kind of meat pies, good too. But, uh, you know, I, other than on special occasions, I don't really... I don't really care for meat pie. I mean, I'll, I'm, to be honest, other than special occasions, I don't care for pie in general. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much rounds it out, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, sweet, like sugary pies, like just sugar, that kind of stuff. Disgusting. No, I don't like it. I don't like any of them. I'm sorry. Sugar pies or any of, like, the weird molasses ones or, like, uh, the tarts that are just, like, sugar pecan or anything like that. Or if there's a maple pie, no, I don't want it. That's that's gross. Also, like, uh, like a... Uh, like a, a little key lime pie is good. Lemon meringue, holden meringue. I'll have it. I don't. Not a big fan of meringue. Chocolate pies. What the hell's the point? I did, the chocolate doesn't seem to go well with pie crust in my mind. Um, but there you go. That's the pie list. Where are we? I don't know. Pie Town, uh, Arizona. Sort of between Phoenix and Flagstaff. Let's make the guess. And the answer was New Mexico. And does it say Pie Town? Pie Town. Fantastic. All right. Well, now we are in another country, so we're not in, we're not in America now. That I, th I think is clear enough. But where are we is the good question. We could be in America. I don't think we are though. That look at this doesn't really look like it. Look at those big buildings over there. Okay, so we got pie, we got cranberries, gravy. Oh, well, that's weird. Look at this. That's strange, like a small, small picture of that right over there. This, okay, what is the language we're seeing? Um, Anil Koruku, okay. So, hmm. Now, the thing about it is that the obvious choice is, uh, the obvious choice is somewhere in Turkey. Which, looking at Turkey, uh, gladly, you know, the, the, well, happily for me, based on what I'm seeing over here, the language is very blurry, I can't even really make out that much to read, which is the sad part. License plates are vaguely European-esque, but, uh, don't have any of the blue, which I would imagine Turkey might do. Uh, Turkey doesn't use Arabic, which is good, because we don't see any Arabic right now. Uh, I can't really make up the language, it's just uh, too much is too far for me to say, and I can't even really see any brand names of anything that I can uh, immediately recognize. So, do I see any flags flying anywhere? Like, uh, like this, it doesn't help me too much to see, uh, so that doesn't help. Uh, Gumusiu, that, again, that's like a, that's like the name of a restaurant or something. Alright, right over here we got some flags on top of this, so let's move one forward and see, can we see them? Well, all we've got is a red flag. So I'm going to guess this is Turkey based on that red flag. Are we in Istanbul or Ankara? I'm going to guess, I think we got water over there and some buildings. So I'm going to guess we are in Istanbul. Uh, where in Istanbul? Um, I don't know, somewhere like, 
somewhere like over not not like super downtown -y, somewhere like over here let's make the guess and the answer was kind of we weren't in istanbul and that wasn't water i guess we were over here at this place turkey we were in turkey you went for the easy one i guess there's no place called turkey in america that you can go with can you but you know what there you go turkey it's one of the main ingredients we got pie town we got cranberry cranberry lake we got turkey it's fantastic i mean obviously this place is uh, called bursa but it's in the country turkey i can get in the theme this is a great thanksgiving theme already i'm loving it all right one way do not enter driving on the right uh we got an unmarked police car right there it's probably not uh no, it doesn't look like an unmarked police car. We've got license plates. They got a strange tinge of red. Um, so I can see that. But other than that, open signs. Okay. We have a name for this place. Gravy would be good. Uh, dollars. Okay. Well, we know. we At least I think we're in America. Hmm. Something Brazil. But I think we are in America, though. We're not in Brazil. We can tell that for sure. We're certainly not in Brazil. But are we in Canada? Well, we're going to probably solve that in uh, just a few moments. Dunkin' Donuts. We're most likely not in Canada. Again, are there Dunkin' Donuts in Canada? Shit, maybe. But probably not. Uh, you never, you never know with those kind of things. Oh, there's a nice American flag. That's what I was looking for. You know, you know, in, in America, you quickly find American flags. I mean, in Canada, you quickly find Canadian flags, too. And in fact, in most countries, you quickly find flags. But, um, you know, let's, uh, let's go look in a little bit more. 508, I don't know where that is. No idea where, uh, where that is. Lisa's Hair Studio, Timothy Jr. Okay. District Attorney. Okay, Santa Cruz. What would the name of this place be? Well, is there, is there? I, I want to find a name to this place if I can, if I can see it. U.S. Post Office. You're not going to say the name of the city on that? Okay, that's fine with me. Is there, is there a place called Stuffing? No, there's probably not a place called Stuffing. Filling, uh, and dressing are other ones. Rockland, M.A. Okay. So we would be in we would be in Massachusetts and I'm going to say that we're probably just close to Plymouth then if we're going to be if we're going to be uh doing a we sandwich I mean sandwich is a great name but I don't know where this Rockland is so I'm just going to put us on Plymouth right now I'm going to just go looking at uh looking at what we got here Newbury Ipswich Hamilton Gloucester Beverly Salem Lynn, Winthrop, Quincy, uh, Marsfield, uh, Sandwich, Dennis, Brewster, East Ham, Provincetown. I don't see a Rockland. All right, I don't. I don't see any. Oh, I do see a Rockland. It's up here. All right. Do we have anywhere around here? I mean, Plymouth isn't far from Rockland, so I could believe that uh, this bakery has delivered from Rockland to Plymouth. Uh, if I had to guess. Rockland doesn't seem to necessarily fit the theme, although I don't really know anything about Rockland. I'm fairly certain... Uh, now, we don't really learn what Thanksgiving's all about here uh, in Canada, but I'm fairly certain something has to do with Plymouth in Massachusetts that has to do with um, Thanksgiving. Uh, I've, I'm, of course, not sure about that. I might be making that up, and I might be confusing it with something else, but I'm going to go with Plymouth just based on... Uh, what I like to think that I maybe know, but I'm not sure of at all. So we're going to place on the main road right there and make the guess. And the answer was, indeed, we were in Plymouth. That's good. It's a good guess. I know there's something with Plymouth. Something with Plymouth and a rock, right? There's a there's a, a rock somewhere around here that's of importance. Settlers landing and having a um, happy feast with the, the native people, which is, you know, all bullshit. But, you know, I, I guess people like to uh, romanticize history uh, in in many ways, but I think I think people nowadays know uh, know that uh, uh, there were some fucked up things that were done to uh, the uh, indigenous peoples of North America by uh, the settlers. So they, I mean, and that goes for America and Canada, and I mean it also definitely goes for any other countries that settled any other part of North America, and it even goes for any other sort of native population in any country. It, it, you know. That's that's what happens, and it's not it's not a good thing. But uh, 
there you go. So, you know, every everyone, I'm fairly certain everyone's educated now that the kind of the whole sort of story of I don't even know the story myself, but I've heard some of it, and uh, and I've heard a lot of people saying, "Wow, oh, it's all it's all bullshit, isn't it?" Uh, and you know, I'm inclined to believe that more than I'm to more than I'm inclined to believe uh, a much happier tale. But you know what? Uh, that's not really what the the holiday is about. The holiday is about being thankful, and that's a good thing. So we can be thankful about that and remember history the proper way. 6409. Okay. Where are we now? Well, now, that I think was a real Thanksgiving theme. Now we find ourselves somewhere different that may, may be another food item. Hamburg Sud. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, does Hamburg have anything to do with Thanksgiving? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. I mean, are, are hamburgers a thing that people have on uh, Thanksgiving? I mean, maybe. This looks like Hamburg. This looks like a German city. I'm not going to lie. Hamburg, of course. Let me try and zoom into it. Hamburg. Oh, hold on. Okay. Hamburg is this one up here, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. I wanted to at least try and pass that test. Where in Germany is Hamburg? Uh, so I, at least I at least I gladly uh, I knew that. And, like, Frankfurt is the one that's, like, down here, and Berlin is, like, uh, up here, and Munich is down over here. Uh, I mean, obviously, not to scale, but I think that that's the way it goes. Let's find out. Let's find out. Have I Did I figure it out? Uh, Frankfurt is down here. Munich is down here, although in my mind, I imagined it right here, to be honest. And Berlin is over here. I actually imagined it right up here. Uh, well, I don't know if I imagined it right up here. But I imagined it horizontal to Hamburg. I imagined Hamburg more down here, to be honest, I guess. Uh, but there you go. Eh, close enough. All right. Uh, so, well, we can't really move. I'm guessing we're just in Hamburg, aren't we? I mean, this looks like Hamburg. Uh, I mean, there's not much we can see. Although, yeah, okay. There's not much we can go on. Do we have a flag? I mean, let's look for flags. We've got, wow, lots of flags. Is this... Is this the, this is like the flag of like, no, okay, I'm not going to say what this looks like the flag of, but I'm fairly certain that's the flag of, uh, of Donetsk, so, well, I mean, no, it's, okay, I'm fairly certain it's not, let's get that straight, because I'm fairly certain we're in Hamburg, but isn't that, uh, isn't that the, the flag that, uh, they're using these days, a flag that looks a lot like this? Maybe I'm completely wrong about that, but uh, maybe I'm not. Although, let me say, I'm almost 100% sure this isn't that flag. Uh, in fact, I am 100% sure. If it was, I am blown away. There you go. Good old German flag. That's what we want. Uh, that's got to be a flag of uh, something else. Although, uh, there you go. What else do we see? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, we got some German flags, which is fantastic. I'm seeing them now. I guess we're just in Hamburg. I don't. I don't really. To, to be honest, I don't really under. I don't really get the Hamburg uh, link to Thanksgiving. It's got to be something that I'm missing. It's got to be something that I don't get. So I'm just gonna place this in Hamburg, somewhere like uh, I don't know. Jeez, where the hell could we be here? I don't know. This place, Hamburg is confusing. Uh, let's place it right here. Okay, we were actually over here, under this bridge. Yeah, Hamburg. Maybe. Maybe hamburgers are, are things that people have in on on in Thanksgiving, or maybe uh, maybe the reference is not actually to hamburgers, but more to uh, to ground meat in general because like that's what that's what it's all about. It's all about like uh, like a ground a ground beef steak type thing, which is like what the whole thing originated with with, with that what a hamburger originated as uh, is I, I think. Like German immigrants to America bringing over um, ground beef type steak things, where it's like just a, a a patty of ground beef shaped into a steak shape, which is just a rectangle, and uh, yeah, eat that. You put some of the spices, gravy. I don't know. I've had it. I've had that uh, a few times. It's, I mean, it's not great, but it's, it's all right. It's an it's an all right thing. I I don't know. I feel it's traditional, right? It's a you know, it's a traditional meal in uh, back in. I don't know. There was a traditional meal around here, you know, in in you know certain uh, families back in you know the 1950s and earlier than that, and probably even before that in the 1930s. Uh, so you find that a lot, and I, I think the story of the hamburger is is, is that, but uh, unsure. There you go. We were in Hamburg. Okay. 
So there you go. I mean, the Thanksgiving uh, special. That's it. That's it concluded. Fantastic. We were in Cranberry Lake in upstate New York, which was <laughs> really hilarious. We were in Pie Town, New Mexico, which is also equally hilarious. We were in the hilarious... Well, okay, no. Fuck. We were in not hilarious, but, you know, fitting turkey uh, in uh, Bursa. We were then in... Uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts, which uh, I busted out the very little amount of American Thanksgiving knowledge that I do have uh, to figure that one out. Unless I got just completely lucky and I'm missing the whole point. Uh, and then Hamburg, which I don't quite understand, but we had a fun story about ground beef. So there you go. Maybe in some places in America, like um, like uh, like like this weird Dakotas over here. Uh, people have hamburgers on uh, on uh, Thanksgiving. I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, in my, if I remember correctly, I think our friend Taylor Krogan might be from around here. I always forget which one, and they also might not be from there at all. But uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully you guys have a happy and safe and good Thanksgiving, and you enjoy time either alone or with your families. And regardless of who you're with or what you're doing, you know, be thankful and eat a lot and if you're from somewhere else in the world yeah you know you still eat a lot right it's fun eat a lot be thankful i guess and spend time with whoever have a good time happy thanksgiving and see you next time oh yeah cue the royalty free music three two one go come on everybody get on your feet Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.